Hello friends. You are watching a video from the amazing garden channel. And on the eve of the start of the planting season, I want to tell you in detail and understand what a coconut substrate is, how to use it, its pros and cons. And in general, how useful it is and how harmful it is for your seedlings. It's not the first year I've been growing all my plants on a coconut substrate and getting excellent results. Both lush seedlings and a rich harvest that you actually now see on your screens. All this was grown on a coconut substrate, but in the comments under my videos I often began to meet messages that coconut substrate is very harmful to seedlings and it should not be used in any case. And all because supposedly the fibers of the coconut substrate contain a very large amount of salt, which is detrimental to seedlings or plants that are grown on it. At least there are people on YouTube who say so. But in fact, they are just lying because I will now show you the results of my experiment, which, in addition to the fact that I have already shown good seedlings and a rich harvest, will prove that the coconut substrate is no more harmful than wood ash, or the top dressing that we make for seedlings. For the purity and simplicity of the experiment, I took four clear clean cups, poured the same amount of water into them, and for the authenticity of the experiment on AliExpress, I bought myself such a TDS meter. For an ordinary gardener, the thing is basically useless, it is acquired by those who are engaged in cultivation on hydroponics in order to properly apply and dose fertilizers. Since there are salts in all fertilizers, if there is a limit amount of them in the liquid, then the seedlings or the plant may die. But this TDS meter actually shows the amount of salts in the liquid. And now pay attention in all the cups it shows plus or minus 326 this value is equal to the usual well water. Now I leave the first cup clean without any additives in the second cup I fall asleep with just a little bit of ammonium nitrate. A dose of ammonium nitrate diluted in 100 grams of water is comparable to a dose of regular top dressing, since 50 grams of ammonium nitrate is needed for 10 liters, then about 0.5 or a maximum of 1 gram of this fertilizer is poured into a cup, stirred and wait until it dissolves. Carefully wipe the spoon, and in the meantime I fill the third cup, I will use wood ash in it, the most common ash and also add a dose there that is often used when added to pots for plants and to the ground for seedlings or for fertilizing the plant. Well, the last cup is of course our coconut substrate and is filled so as to get a full glass as much as possible. And let him get drunk with water. Now you need to wait for about half an hour so the coconut substrate has greatly increased in volume. I'm taking it away a little so that our TDS meter will fit in there. And now I'm measuring again in ordinary water, by the way, the TDS meter readings also depend on the water temperature. The water brought from the street stood at room temperature for half an hour and its readings increased slightly. Now we check the amount of salts in a cup with ammonium nitrate, look at the indicators are just off the scale, the amount of salts 3133 this solution can easily destroy seedlings, therefore it is not advisable to feed seedlings with mineral fertilizers and save them for large plants. After each use of the TDS meter, for the accuracy of the readings, I rinse it under the tap with clean running water and wipe it thoroughly dry. Now let's see what the wood ash will show us. 2504 is also a lot, but both you and I often add wood ash to the soil for seedlings and plants, and it's okay, everything grows perfectly. Rinse thoroughly again, and wipe. The last tested coconut substrate, what will it show us? and it shows only 413 the salt content in it is only 100% more than in ordinary water, which I actually water the seedlings. Here even a fool will understand without any formulas and tables that coconut substrate is no more harmful in terms of the amount of salt content than the same wood ash that we often use. Therefore, it makes no sense to blame the fact that the seedlings died or somehow the coconut substrate does not grow correctly. Because he's not the problem. And for those who watch the video to the end, I will make another measurement. I also bought a pH meter on AliExpress, it shows the acidity of the liquid. Actually, if you water the soil with it, the acidity will be transferred to it. The pH of my regular water is 6.5. This neutral pH is suitable for most plants. Liquid with ammonium nitrate also shows a neutral pH a little closer to slightly acidic, but wood ash, as you can see, shows 9 whole 4 tenths as an alkaline medium. So ash is often used for deoxidation of the soil, and as you understand, if you add a lot of ash to your plant, or seedlings, you can very much harm it. But a coconut substrate shows 5 whole 4 tenths, which corresponds to a slightly acidic one. Now you have seen everything yourself and we can conclude that the use of coconut substrate for preparing soil for seedlings is absolutely harmless to plants in any quantities, and can not harm your seedlings in any way, 
The main thing to remember is a few things. Coconut substrate still has a small amount of salts, but when we soak it before use, the lion's share of salts is washed out with water, and the second is that the coconut substrate is absolutely sterile. There is no nutrition in it, and therefore, to grow purely in a coconut substrate without adding fertilizers is initially a mistake because there are no microorganisms in it, it is purely as a filler. To maintain the looseness and airiness of the soil, as well as to ensure that the soil retains moisture better, this is actually what the coconut substrate is designed for. And if you are going to grow your seedlings or plants in a pure coconut substrate, then take care of proper nutrition, which will need to be regularly applied in the right doses to your plants grown in a coconut substrate. Therefore, friends, if the information from this video was useful, please like it, be sure to share it with your friends so that they also know what a coconut substrate is. Also subscribe to my channel so as not to miss the release of new interesting videos. I wish you good, strong seedlings. See you in the new videos.